The Genesis of the Operating System by AskMrWizard.com, 2013. In the beginning, the engineers built the hardware, and the hardware worked by its native design. A knob for increase, and a slider for decrease, a gear for leverage, and a switch for activation. And the users were happy, and it was good. But the engineers longed for more. After much pondering, the engineers made the hardware programmable, and the programming worked by means of memory cells. A cell for commands, and a cell for increase, and a cell for decrease, and a cell for leverage, and a cell for activation. And the engineers wrote user program software to fill the memory cells, and the hardware worked as the software directed, and the users were happy, and it was good. And the engineers begat programmers who began to multiply and spread throughout the land. And the engineers and the programmers were partners in all things. The engineers built more and greater hardware, and so the programmers wrote more and greater user program software. But the engineers and the programmers longed for more. Each time the engineers made more and greater hardware, they made changes in the memory cells, and the lament of the programmers was great, for verily they did toil to compensate, and they did tire of rewriting new user program software for the same basic tasks each time the engineers built new hardware. And after great ponderings, the programmers and the engineers begat middleware. And the name of the first middleware was device driver. And each different device driver did compensate for the different memory cells in the different hardware. And the programmers said, let each hardware mate with its own device driver to perform one standard task, each according to its kind, so that there may be harmony and simplicity in the user programs. And so the programmers and the engineers worked together to write the device drivers, one device driver for each unique hardware device. And the device drivers were divided by device and grouped into tasks, so that although there were many disk drive devices and many disk drive device drivers, there might be but one single sector write command and one single sector read command. And although there were many display devices and many display device drivers, there might be but one character display command and one standard set of graphic display commands. And although there may be many different keyboard devices, there might be but one standard set of character read commands. And although there might be many different printer devices, there might be but one set of standard print commands and one set of standard graphic print commands. And it was so. The middleware did compensate for differences in the hardware, and the user programs were no longer tossed to and fro to be rewritten each time the hardware memory cells and registers and commands were changed. And so, the user program became easier to write, and the users were happy, and it was good. But as the programmers grew in wisdom and stature, they longed for more. They consulted among themselves in great councils, and as they consulted, they examined their user programs, and lo, they found great duplication of effort. For many diverse programs did implement and re-implement similar file systems in diverse and divergent manners without reason. And many diverse programs did manage memory in diverse and divergent manners without reason. And many programs did name and manage users in diverse and divergent manners without reason and other programs that implement similar network resources in diverse and divergent manners without reason. And as the programmers pondered these things, their hearts were softened and their minds illuminated. With joy they exclaimed, We have seen a vision, 
and in our vision, all common services became grouped into standard system services. And we saw that a new layer of middleware must come into being between the device drivers and the user programs to standardize the file systems and the memory management and the user management and the network resources and other precious things according to a new and higher law. And this new layer of middleware shall be called system services and thus we shall eliminate much duplication of effort within our user programs. And thus did the programmers toil diligently in their councils, individually and in small groups across the land until all the system services could mate with all of the device drivers to perform all of the plain and precious things that they had seen in their vision. And they rested for a season. From that time forth, it was no longer necessary for each diverse user program to write its own file system. Yea, user programs were greatly simplified because they were built upon the foundation of the system services and the device drivers and hardware which had been provided by the wisdom of the ages. And the users were happy. And it was good. But the vision of the programmers was troubled still, and they longed for more. They rejoiced in the two sacred layers of middleware that they had created in the time of their early probation. But as they examined their user programs, they found that some duplication of efforts still remained, because each of the new system services required a different command structure with diverse memory cell arrangements. And so, the programmers once again went to council to ponder these things. And as they reasoned among themselves, one among them said, Behold, let us unite and create yet another layer of middleware between the system services and our user programs to unify and give order to the system services commands. And let us call this middleware system calls. And in this layer we shall standardize the means by which all similar system services are used. And great was the joy in their councils. The programmers across the land realized that the system calls layer could be combined with the system services and the device drivers and the hardware to interrupt and schedule multiple tasks all at the same time, each receiving the attention of the central processing hardware one after the other as the stars follow one another across the heavens. Behold, they exclaimed, the work of our hands has become an operating system controlling the hardware after the manner of the heavens themselves. And the users and the programmers and the engineers were happy, and it was good. But as the users grew in wisdom and stature, they too longed for more. They consulted among themselves in great councils, like unto the councils of old, and lo, they too found great duplication of effort. For many diverse user programs demanded that they enter data according to one pattern, while others demanded that they enter similar data according to a different pattern. And some user programs displayed information in one manner, while others displayed similar information in a different manner. Some, declaring lo here, used a mouse pointer. Others, declaring lo there, used only a keyboard, while still others could use both. Some user programs were activated and terminated with certain keystrokes, while other user programs were activated and terminated using different keystrokes. Yea, users grew weary beneath the heavy burdens of their taskmasters, and they groaned with displeasure. When, they wondered, would their cries be heard? Great would be the day when all user programs might be controlled in harmony, like unto the harmony of nature. And the programmers saw the discontent of the users, and they reasoned together upon this subject for a season. And at the end of their reasoning, they declared, We shall create yet another layer, above the user programs, through which all users may manipulate our user programs in harmony, according to the new law and standard which we shall call the user interface. And it was so. The users rejoiced because the burden of their taskmasters was greatly reduced. No longer need they learn diverse manners and ways of doing similar tasks with different tools, 
but they could concentrate their efforts upon the tasks themselves, even if different tools were needed. All information was displayed in rectangular areas that could be opened, closed, resized, and moved around with the same standardized gestures. And the users, and the programmers, and the engineers were happy, and they returned to their work for a long, long season. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find at www.askmrwizard.com, along with related items, text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. We appreciate your support. Thank you.